God almighty. 14, 14 and a half. God almighty. I want to show this one to you guys. I want you to see this big rascal here. Look at the size. As a matter of fact, let me get some scale so you guys can really see him. And listen, this is all caught off. That nasty bin hook. And that monkey mill. He's just sitting right down there. You got to be a little bit patient. Okay, let me show you this big rascal. Good night. Let me back up a little bit. We're catching and releasing today. Let me show you this big rascal. The water temperature has dropped overnight about five degrees. And we're getting ready to head back to Crappy Point. You know, I don't, I do a lot of things, baby, but changing ain't one of them. Okay, you can see my buddy Chris over there off my right shoulder. He's already on my spot. I've already got the marker buoys out there. You can see the condensation on the water. As the day progresses, you'll be able to see the condensation around the edges. Okay, that's a good thing. That means that the temperature is falling and the fall bite, the fall fix is in, okay? Uh, I need you guys to do me one favor. You know, we do a lot of things that here, here at the Crappy Hole, but changing ain't one of them. Pull up a chair, relax, get your family, sit down at your computer, your flat screen TV, relax. We're getting ready to catch some crappie. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today, okay? We're going to be fishing with our nine foot poles, and we're going to be trying three different jig, three different jigs today, all right? We're going with the Stinger Shad. Let me tell you what we did. Because of this time of the year, for all you crappie fishermen out there, it's very, very important for you to remember that you sometimes you may have to downsize your bait in order to look like the bait that the crappie are biting. So if you're using a huge, huge bait and they're biting off of little 1.2, 1.25, 1.5 um, length bait fish, then you're going to have to downsize. These are our new blue ice, okay? You can see those flash flakes in there. As a matter of fact, let me put it down real good so you guys can see it let me see if you can see those flash flakes in there you see that okay I'm running six pound test line I always run six pound test line you don't ever have to ask me what, what pound test line I'm running high vis and I'm using my nine foot poles we're going to be vertical jigging I want to say this to you guys don't be intimidated by vertical jigging a lot of people are including myself so I don't want you guys to, to think that it's some foreign object that you can't really grasp the, hold of and an idea that you that you can or cannot do it if I can do it anybody can do it okay we're running nine foot poles and they're very sensitive they're made just for catching crappie for doing this purpose right here you guys have seen me use them when I'm spider rigging okay it's very simple you remember I told you oh when you're crappie fishing all you have to do is do the little things big that's all you have to do you know we're going to be fishing on that six seven foot flat so this is what I do I already have my pole pre-measured okay with a tape measure so I take all the guesswork out of it so whenever you see me it's my job to make sure that this nasty bend hook along with that custom exotic plastic blue ice okay you see that tail is constantly moving whenever I see it it has to be right here at the eye of this pole that signifies to me that that is six and three quarters seven feet okay that's my job to make sure that that jig stays right there in place so when I'm vertical jigging I automatically know from looking at them on the depth finder that the fish or at six and a half seven feet so if you're fishing in ten feet of water this is a nine foot pole you stretch this that jig all the way down to nine feet and you pull out another 12 inches that's ten feet okay so it's the little things that you do guys that help you land that 14 those 14 13 12 inch crappie in the boat okay so listen relax let's head on over to the spot and let's see if we can pull some of these crappie out of here all right to mention to you guys too we're going to be using three different types of jigs plastics that is. I'm gonna be using the blue ice I'm gonna be using the monkey milk let me show you the monkey milk so you can see it up close okay you can see that tail see that tail constantly move and it's your job to make sure that your jig stays dressed up with that tuxedo and make sure it looks very presentable presentable for a job interview okay I'm gonna be using the blue ice the monkey milk and as a matter of fact you can see this pole right here I already have it pre-measured with a piece of tape okay to let me know that I am at six and three quarters seven feet all right that's the monkey milk let me put this on because we don't want that nasty bend hook it, it it will get you it doesn't care who you are you can't tell the difference between flesh and a fish okay and the third color that we're going to go with now it's my job to figure out what color they're interested in okay this right here is that 
one of the hottest colors across the country. This is that red, black, and chartreuse. Let me show it to you in a stinger shaft. I'm running, I'm running the 116 minnow head with the black nickel nasty bend hook. I want to show it up there so you guys can really see it real good. Okay? So it's my job to make sure that my jig always stays presentable like this. Okay, let me show it to you. Just like this. You want to make sure that jig stays just like that when you're fishing. Okay? So you can see that right there. You see how, how, that, how that tail is just constantly moving? That red, black, and chartreuse. All right, I got glitter in the tail. So all these are available at camscrappyhole.com. And remember, you got free shipping on everything. Neck pieces, we got your out, outwear on there. We got the watches, waterproof watches. You know I got on the cams, waterproof Rollins jacket. Plus we got the cams, crappy hole, long sleeve fall. Because it's fall coming, okay? And you also remember we got the hoodies too. So let's get ready, sit back, relax, and come on and join me. Let's see if we can pull these crappy guys. Barely twitch. Look at that. Look at that. Got a 13 inch crappie. Red, black, and chartreuse. Look at this. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. Let me turn you around just a little bit so you guys can see me, okay? We were in that hole. 90 seconds. Matter of fact, let me pull you guys down. If you don't go, I want you guys to see my face and see the, see the smile on my face. If you don't go to C-A-M-S-C-R-A-P-P-I-E-H-O-L-E.com and get you some of these nasty bend hooks, guys, time I lower And let me tell you what color we're running. I want you guys to see that hook set. I'm going to leave him just like he is, okay? Look at that hook set right in the roof of the mouth. Again, I'm using, boy, he's angry too. I'm using that 116 Stinger Shad. Today's episode is Stinger Shad. The hottest color across the country this past spring 2017, 18, was that red, black, and chartreuse with that green curly tail plastic exotic jig that I custom made. Look what I caught this rascal off of. Look at this. Red, black, and chartreuse with that nasty bin number two black nickel hook. Look at that tail. Look at this big rascal here. Guys, he's earned a boat ride home with us, okay? My man over there, Chris, is using minnow. Today, we're using Stinger Shad. This episode is all about that Stinger Shad. Look at that, okay? Let's put him in the basket. He's, in, he's earned a ride home with us. <sighs> Guys, we had a Fish Fry Friday for my birthday, the 21st of September, and we had over a hundred people in the backyard, and we are all out of crappie. And let me tell you guys this, I wanna tell everybody out there, thank you so much for all the warm welcome for my birthday. I received over 1,100 welcomes on Facebook, Instagram, and also on YouTube, direct message, messages from all of my family members out there who you guys have let me in your house, and you guys have shown me a lot of love as if I was your family member. Let's put this rascal in here, let's head on up there and get some more. Chris, ain't no iron team, baby. Yeah, but there's iron crappy. <laughs> In my right hand, I got that red, black, and chartreuse. In the left hand, I got that monkey milk. That red, black, and chartreuse again. Again. Let me put my shades on because the sun's starting to come out. Let me show this to you guys. <whistles> guys, let me, let me say this. It's your job to have the colors. Okay? Right now, as the fall, the water temperature starts to drop, that red, black, and chartreuse right in the top of the lip. Let me, let me show this rascal to you. These hooks are chemically sharpened, okay? 
Guys, you've got that point is wicked. If you don't want to hook nothing, do not put this nasty bin hook on there. And that red, black, and chartreuse stinger shad, look at that tail. Look how it's moving. That's what you want to produce these. Let's put them in the basket. Perfect, perfect eating size. Here we go. Red, black, and chartreuse again. God mighty. Guys, look at this. I want you to see this. He engulfed this thing. Look at that. Dude, that red, black, and chartreuse is on fire. Woo, look at this. I want you guys to see this. He swallowed this bad boy. Look at this. I'm going to show you with, with the string on there. Let me see, let you see it. You can't even see the hook. That nasty bend hook is gone. And that red, black, and chartreuse, stinger shaft. Woo. Look at that. It is gone. Look how far it is down his throat. Look at that. I hope you guys can see that. That's that nasty bend hook, 116, um, with a stinger shad red, black, with a green tail, okay? Good night. Look at that rascal. Look at that. <laughs> that red, black, and chartreuse. Let me, let, me make it, let me make it simple for you. All I do... It's come out here and do little things big. Stinger Shad, you go to Cam's Crappy Hole, I custom make them for you. So when you order, I make these for you. They're super soft. That You can see the glitter in that tail, okay? Let me use background is crappy so you can see it. I ship them to you when you order them. They don't sit on the shelf for six, eight, ten months. When you order them, they're fresh. I send them right to you, free shipping, okay? Look, can you see the shirt? Cam'sCrappyHole.com. On every lake, there's the Cam's Crappy Hole. All right, let's put this rascal in the basket. We're going to fit him for a cornmeal jacket. Mm. What a thump. Hashtag Thump City, Georgia. Look at this. God almighty. 14, 14 and a half. God almighty. I want to show this one to you guys. I want you to see this big rascal here. Look at the size. As a matter of fact, let me get some scale so you guys can really see him. And listen, this is all caught off. That nasty bin hook. And that monkey milk. He's just sitting right down there. You got to be a little bit patient. Okay, let me show you this big rascal. Good night. Let me back up a little bit. We're catching and releasing the day. Let me show you this big rascal. You guys see that? Look at the size of this rascal. And let me tell you this. That nasty bin hook, that nasty bin hook, I'm using a 116. I've, I've gone from a 1A to a 116. And sometimes I'll even use a 132nd, okay? But I'm using that black nickel nasty bin hook along with that stinger shad monkey milk. This is a 14-inch crappie. Look at that big rascal. <laughs> Look at that. We're going to catch and release. We're going to let him. <laughs> We're going to let him go because we still got some left from, from, from in, in this morning, okay? Look at that rascal. God almighty, that's a big crappie. We're going to need that one for spawning. 